Okay, so I'm going to go through another product from John Stone today. Um, it's a, a rib that's been slow cooked already. So all that we're really going to do is reheat it. And tonight I'm going to serve that with a small little stir fry of vegetables, some egg fried rice and some uh, black bean sauce. So to start things off, I have a tray here that's going to go into the oven and I've sliced up uh, two red onions. I've just peeled them and sliced them and a couple of cloves of garlic. And then I have my oven on preheated to 180 degrees. Um, so I'm just gonna cut that bag open. And then I'll do this over the tray because we want all the juices that have uh, been cooked. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you a little bit more when I open it up. So just make sure you get all the, uh, the sauce and the juice that's in that bag to fall out. Now I know it doesn't look all that appetizing at the moment, but don't worry about that because it will once we get it cooked. Um, so this is a short rib that's been marinated um, and, and it's been cooked in the bag or sous vide as, as it's also called. So all we're gonna do is bring this back up to temperature and it's gonna take about 20 to 25 minutes, maybe even half an hour uh, in the oven. So what I'm also gonna put in that tray, I've got uh, about 150 mils of orange juice as this is gonna help us make the sauce to serve with it. And I've got some black bean sauce here. I've got three tablespoons of black bean, bean sauce. Uh, three and a half, actually. Um, and that's it. So that's gonna go into a preheated oven at 180 degrees. And we're gonna baste that every five or 10 minutes. And the idea is that we're gonna cover the pork in the orange juice and the black bean and it's roasting. And then I'm gonna show you how to make a quick little stir fry of vegetables and some egg fried rice. So to get the vegetables ready for the stir fry that we're gonna do, I've got some peppers, some spring onions, and some carrots, and some cherry tomatoes. So for the uh, spring onions, I've just peeled them, the outside layer, and then I'm just cutting them into quarters. So I've already started a few there, as you can see. And then these ones, so just in half, and half again. This one can just go in half. This one can go into quarter. So we're gonna quickly flash fry them in a few minutes. Uh, I have a red pepper, I've already started it there, so I just took one of the cheeks off the pepper and we're going to cut that into some nice little strips and do the same with the yellow. And then we've got a carrot, so I've just peeled the carrot and I cut it into uh, those size lengths and then I'm just going to gently run my knife through. I have another quick one there. So we're just gonna quickly run this through uh, a hot frying pan with a little bit of uh, oil, some sesame oil, and some soy sauce. And that's as simple as, it, as it's gonna get. And then I just, a small little handful of cherry tomatoes. You can just cut those in half. So to serve with the pork tonight, I'm gonna do a quick egg fried rice and some stir fried vegetables. So I have two pans on here getting nice and hot. Uh, I have a little bit of vegetable oil in both. Um, I'm going to start with the, so I've built two tablespoons of vegetable oil. I'm going to start with the fried, uh, stir fried vegetables. So the carrots are going to take the longest to cook. So that's on full heat now. They're going to head in. I'm going to stir fry them quickly. And while that's happening, I'm going to crack two eggs into the egg fried rice. So there's one. To make the egg fried rice, I need two eggs. I've got a cup full of cooked rice, so this is just some long grain rice. I've got some light soy sauce and some sesame oil. Okay, so I'm gonna just scramble those eggs now after cooking. And I'm gonna season them with a little bit of sesame oil, about a tablespoon, and a tablespoon of soy sauce. And then I'm going to add my peppers in here with my carrots. So what we're doing here really is just seasoning the eggs. And now at this stage, I'm going to add in my rice. So ideally this is like cooked rice from the night before, or you could even use one of those packets of cooked rice if you wanted it. And now, we just need to heat that rice up. So I'm going to leave that on a high heat. 
And then as that rice starts to warm, it will get a little bit softer. Um, my stir fry vegetables are coming along nicely now. Uh, I'm going to add in my spring onions at this stage. And the same again, a little bit of sesame oil. Got a tablespoon. And some soy sauce. Two tablespoons, maybe. And some chopped cherry tomatoes. And this is about 30 seconds, a minute away from being finished. Okay? So the egg fried rice is ready now. So that's had about three or four minutes store frying there. And as I said, we started off with a little bit of vegetable oil, cracked our eggs in, seasoned them with some sesame oil and some uh, soy sauce, added the rice and stir fried it. For our stir fried vegetables, uh, similar type of thing, we started off with the carrots, added in our spring onions and our peppers. Uh, I'm going to finish this off just with a little bit of chopped coriander, so that's ready to go. And we're serving that then with our slow cooked ribs, so we just move back to the oven there. Um, they're ready now I'd say. So these have had about a half an hour now. I actually upped the temperature to 200 because they weren't cooking hot enough for me. I wanted them to caramelize. So as you can see now, they're looking pretty good. Um, so I'm just going to take them out of the oven. So they actually smell really, really good. And they're very hot. So I'm just going to cut them up and put them into this serving tray. So I've just chopped the rest of the ribs up and the gravy or the sauce that's left is just the onions, the garlic and the black bean. Um, so all those onions are obviously very edible. So I'm going to add them in to the tray. And then we have our... So we've got our uh, slow cooked pork ribs in a black bean sauce with our stir fried vegetables and egg fried rice. 